the Nissan Trail Seeker Series in Grabo. It's quite chilly now, but uh, it's been like this the whole week and it heats up quite quickly and especially with the races we've got here today we've got some super top top riders and which is great for the trail seeker series uh Krabo is always really tough it's renowned to be a tough route uh but for the trail seeker we, all, we we try and find the easier routes uh, but still adding the enjoyable single tracks i think the, it speaks for itself we've got the best turnout ever for this trail seeker in the western coast there's a lot of girls that are riding in the in this it wouldn't be so many people with this cold if it wasn't um, amazing. So I'm looking forward to it. The middle section of the race really, I really enjoyed. Um, it brought back good memories from Cape Epic Grand Finale a few years ago. And yeah, it's always a nice route out here. Yeah, I mean, there was. We raced, I lost a wheel a few times during the race and I managed to get back. Um, Mateus, I don't really like to win this way, um, but Mateus was the stronger rider, he attacked up that last climb. Um, but yeah, you also have to focus where you're going. It was exciting racing and um, me and Fat and Matt uh, sort of got away from, from the race quite early on. Yeah, I, I'm very unexpected. Uh, this is the sort of first high profile win for me. So yes, I'm chuffed. Race organization, I must give a thumbs up to Trail Seeker and this, and it's been uh, a faultlessly organized event. It's really something that everybody can enjoy. It's well marked, it's a, it's a, it's a reasonable course. 